Inventor Cam Express is an outstanding investment for an entry-level cam system. Focusing on the truly essential programming functions, Inventor Cam Express is a radical new concept in cam. It delivers fully integrated solutions for two and a half and three axis machining at a surprisingly affordable price. Inventor Cam is shattering market trends by offering the leading integrated cam solution for Inventor with the functionality cam programmers need most at a price that is unrivaled for this level of programming capability. Inventor Cam Express has an easy upgrade path, so as your business grows and higher demands are placed on your programming system, we can apply your investment to one of our full featured products that can handle even the toughest CNC programming challenges. Not only is your financial investment secure, but the features in Inventor Cam Express are taken directly from Inventor Cam, so your training time is never wasted. Inventor Cam Express a great way to start experiencing the benefits of programming your CAM directly inside Inventor. Express contains the following 2.5D toolpaths. Base milling, profile milling, pocketing, drilling, and a limited HSS for doing 3D toolpath. Face milling is used for clearing the entire geometry of your part. It can also be limited to individual faces or boundaries. Pocketing is used for pocketing out areas, as we see here with this toolpath. Here's another pocketing operation. If we look from a top view, we can see our helical ramping and entry into our pockets. Here's another pocketing toolpath. Here you can see we are supporting open pockets where the lead in and lead outs are automatically extended to plunge out in there. We also have our profiling operation as we see along the walls. And then we have our drilling which will handle any machine drill cycles. Common cycles are drilling, pecking, tapping, boring, and reaming. Express also contains our full solid verify simulation with no limitations. As we play through the simulation, you can see we have full dynamic zooming, panning, and rotating. As we speed it up, we can see the tool moving from operation to operation on the left-hand side in our tree. This gives us our feedback. At any point, simulation can be paused and restarted. One of the trademarks of Inventor is to have the easy ability for defining new coordinate systems and machining on them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a, another operation to machine this little pocket on this one side. We're going to add a new pocketing operation. We do not have a coordinate system defined for that so from inside our operation we will create a new one. So I'm going to add a coordinate system. I'm going to pick on our face this is going to create a coordinate system normal to that face. We also have basic options to move our coordinate system around. So let's say we want to move it to the back left corner of our model. We will accept our default milling and clearance levels. And now we just pick that we want to machine with that second coordinate system. We're going to define new geometry. We are going to pick around this top ledge. We will accept that chain. We will go select a tool. We'll select our 1 8 end mill. And our levels will pick our pocket depth off of our face. 
and we'll set our step down to 50 thousandths. Save and calculate, and now we can simulate. In our wireframe toolpath, we'll be able to see that pocketing toolpath for that operation. And now we're going to move on to our HSS that comes with Inventor Cam Express. Going to close out our current model. And from our Inventor Cam menu, I'm going to open up our adapter plate. In this current part, we have several surfaces that make up this 3D chamfer. With HSS, we can easily define a constant Z strategy to machine those fillets to give any 2.5D machinist an entry into 3D machining.